Hello, my friends. Well, if you watched my last video, I actually poured it earlier today. I used um, what I was hoping were fall colors and browns and so forth. And I, I wasn't happy with the outcome, but um, a lot of people did like it, which pleases me certainly. But I had paint left over, so I thought I would add, um, mix up some turquoise in both a light and a darker shade and add those with my um, leftover paints. So let's see if I come up with something more pleasing to me anyway. And I think I'm going to do, I'm using a different cup. That one was so wide that it, it affects the way it pours out. I don't know. Sometimes I like it, but I surely didn't like that last one. So I'm going to use a narrower cup and I'm going to pour in kind of an S shape again, I hope. In fact, I'm going to take this China marker and just lightly draw. Oh, I can barely see that, but I, I can kind of see it. Give me a little guideline to try to follow. So let's give it a go. Since I have more of the turquoise, I'm going to start with that. And then I'll go with from light to dark. So pour all of that in there. Ugh, I just picked up the stick by the wrong end. Okay, now um, yellow ochre, which I lightened a little bit with white. Or did I? No, I think this is straight. This is straight yellow ochre. I, uh, I have another one that I lightened. Oh no, <laughs> this is gold. This is metallic. I'm sorry. It's late. It's um. It's late at night, and I just couldn't leave, let this go. <laughs> and I had, you know, paint left over, not enough to do a whole painting. That's why I mixed up the blue. And I just want to use it up and see if I can't feel better about it. Because uh, that last one left a bad taste in my mouth. Although I had some great comments on it, and people seem to like it. I guess it, it, just in general, I don't care for browns. They're not my my color choices. I like reds and blues and bright colors. Not to say that there's anything wrong with those other ones. Earth tones. I mean, why not? Let's see. And then this is what I scraped up off the counter or off the surface of the counter. So I'm going to use that as a color. It's kind of everything mixed together. Make kind of a nice chocolate brown, milk chocolate color. And now the yellow ochre, which I did lighten with white. And now I'll top it off with the turquoise. These are all Arteza paints except for the turquoise. I grabbed um, Grumbacher. I may upload this tomorrow, Sunday, the 31st, Halloween. And um, as I mentioned in my previous video, Arteza is having a 
sale, 20% off your whole site through November 2nd. So go visit Arteza.com if you're interested in saving some money. Free shipping. You can even make payments. Okay. And here we go. Where's I'll start there and kind of go like that. Well, I sure like the look of that better than how I started the last one. That was a mess up there, though. I don't like that, but this is nice. Hmm. Yeah, not enough there to try to do anything with it. looks a little skimpy in the amount. I'm going to scrape the rest of this out to help move things around a bit. There isn't much of that. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, I think everything's pretty used up. All right, here we go. I like this, so I'm going to start by moving this over, maybe down, maybe this way, and then bring it back so I can preserve it. This I don't care if I lose. This is nice. I like that, too. Interesting how it starts coming out so ugly and then it turns so interesting. I'll have to watch the video and see why that is. It makes me want to start, um, I'm going to run a lot of that off, pouring off the canvas. But that would be a real waste of paint, so I probably won't actually do that. really like that section. Um, I'm going to bring it over there and then pull it back. Let me bring it up to you now so you can see it because it may not look like that later. <laughs> I like that. Okay, good. I was able to keep it. Now come back. Okay. 
Okay, well. Get coverage in that corner and then bring it back and size it up. Okay, well, I'm okay with all of it except this corner. I don't like this. So what to do? I pull all this down this way. I'll lose this. That's kind of fun. If I come this way, it's going to distort all of that. If I come this way, I might lose the dark there. I'm not sure what to do. Um, <laughs> My neighbors are having a party, I think. All right. I got a nice dip in that section. Now it's more interesting. Let's see, so now I don't mind bringing it back. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I can't really explain what I'm doing because I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I, I think I should stop. Well, the only part I really like is over here. Well, let's see. There's that light, but I can't turn it off or we'd, we'd be in pitch dark. I <laughs> love the shadow effect there. That's very interesting. Over here, it almost looks like a woman's hair, doesn't it? But what can I do with that? That was an improvement on that section. I don't know. Well, I like it better than my earlier attempt today.
Okay, well, let me know what you think, and um, <laughs> thank you for watching. See you next time.